first negative of traveling solo and traveling too often is if you're trying to build a business if you're trying to be productive or get something done you know it's not really gonna work out for you because when you're traveling and you're moving from place to place what happens is you have a lot of entertainment you have a lot of things to do you your time is basically occupied and you know you don't really make time for being productive because you're in this mindset of okay I'm gonna travel I'm gonna explore and I'm gonna do different things and you know it's very hard to like develop a business so if you're thinking I'm gonna just leave and travel and work on a business you know good luck to you uh, it's probably not gonna work if you're not already disciplined and if you're not already doing it at home you know when you're traveling it's gonna be like four times as difficult all right number two is it's really really difficult to keep a consistent routine if you're always doing solo travel the reason why is because you don't really have one place that you're getting accustomed to uh, you know you don't have somewhere where something or somewhere that keeps you grounded if you're doing solo travel and you're going from place to place you know the environment around you will always change for example you might stay at a hostel one night you might stay in an Airbnb you might do like a couch surfing you might do a work away and what happens when you do this is your brain kind of starts to freak out because uh, yeah things the environment is always changing and your brain it likes to have consistency it likes to have the same environment the same situations and when you're traveling you know your brain is just all over the place and uh, yeah it's very hard to establish a routine when you're doing solo travel because again the environment around you is always changing and if you're not already exercising if you don't already have a discipline at where you are right now then if you think that when you travel you're gonna be able to develop some sort of like consistent routine again it's not gonna happen it's gonna be difficult as fuck and you know I'm not just talking about the environment I'm also talking about the circumstances so there's always going to be people around there's always going to be situations that are going to distract you from your routine there's always little things that are going to happen during the day that are going to throw you off uh, if you're staying in one place you know that usually doesn't happen because you have maybe your own space you have that gym that you go to all the time you have a certain food that you eat all the time and when you're traveling that is always changing so that's number two all right number three is confusion and frustration because of the language barrier uh, this is something very prevalent that happens when you travel especially if you travel to different countries that have different languages for example when i was living in hungary you know everything was written in hungarian and if I wanted to attend some event or if I wanted to maybe find a temporary job or if I wanted to go to a certain meetup you know if I wrote it in English it wouldn't pop up because again in that country everything operates in that language and if I don't know that language if I don't understand it if I don't know how to write in that language then I'm gonna miss out like 90% of the search results so if I'm trying to find a job, you know, there might be some like expert communities in Hungary, but again, it's probably not going to be as much as like obviously in the native language. Uh, you know, if I'm trying to go to events, a lot of the events are going to be written just for the Hungarians that live there. Um, and every time I want to search for an event, and I'm uh, because usually I was using like Facebook local which is like an event app you know everything was written in Hungarian and every time I would have to take the title and description and translate it which was a real hassle because like if I'm looking for an event I just want to like sc scroll through it and be like okay 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 oh music okay I'm gonna go to this not like okay let me take this translate it oh this is not it oh this is not it and then going and doing that for a really long time so it's gonna cause you a lot of frustration also like minuscule things such as buying tickets or uh, just doing like everyday life stuff you know there might 
be different ways that this country operates and does things uh, so maybe if you want to buy tickets you have to buy them beforehand or maybe you have to buy them on the bus and you might not know that and then what happens is you get a fucking fee um, so yeah it's basically like if someone from Europe who doesn't speak English came to America they would have a really difficult time finding things and, and going to events and meeting people and just figuring out how things work so if you're gonna be doing solo travel and you're gonna be gonna go from place to place just realize that it's gonna cost you cost you a lot of frustration and confusion because uh, yeah because the language barriers all right so number four so keeping a committed relationship while you're traveling or doing solo travel is a bad idea let me tell you why so basically if you're in a committed relationship you should commit to that person and stay with them and actually do stuff with them be physical with them hang out with them not you shouldn't do it through technology because there's a lot of faults when it comes to trying to keep a committed relationship through technology and especially when you're traveling a lot let's say maybe you met a person in one European country but you still want to travel around the other European countries for a few months and you, you want to commit to this person because you really like her you know you met her maybe in Hungary and you're traveling to let's say like France um, and you told her okay baby I'll be back in like a few months I, but I just want to travel let's just keep this going you know and I'll call you often and we'll have video chats but again the thing with technology is there is a lot of faults and maybe you call her and the signal goes out maybe you call her and there is noise in the background and there's a lot of like minuscule things that will fucking bother you when you're trying to like call a person via video chat or if you're trying just to talk to them you know and it's just gonna make you really frustrated you know if you're committing to someone and you want to have a relationship with someone you know stay with them actually commit to them be there for them and not don't try to do it through technology um, you know I mean it's okay if you're traveling for like a month or two months away from each other because that kind of gives you some space and gives you a little bit of time to grow but if you're traveling for long term and you're only coming back to see that person like every every two months or three months or so you know that's a bad idea it, it's not gonna work and you're just gonna end up wasting each other's time wasting each other's energy and it's just gonna make you more frustrated and more confused because then you can't have fun when you're traveling you can't meet other people when you're traveling you know so fuck long-term relationships when you're doing the travel lifestyle you know you can still have friends so if you meet a girl obviously keep in touch with her talk to her call her sometimes but don't tell her that you want to be in a relationship with her because that only hurts her and that only hurts your opportunities to explore and experience new things so that's that also you could travel together you know if you want to keep a committed relationship while traveling then just travel together and that solves the problem but there might be more problems when you travel together so just watch out all right so the last one i'm gonna do while walking uh, so this one is emotional instability and i think the lack of routine yeah the lack of routine can make you really unstable uh like mentally and physically mentally in terms of like willpower purpose having a reason for doing things because when you travel your perspective always changes and you kind of become too much in the flow and so uh, you kind of lose like your goals and your purpose and they're always changing there is no like stable ground you know if you're staying in one city uh, you obviously have some aims have some sort of purpose that you're after but when you travel it always changes so there's nothing really that, that's keeping you grounded and when it comes to physical instability this means just like uh, your emotions so your emotions are constantly going like this you know going up and down and this might be because 
you know you're creating relationships and then all of a sudden your friend has to leave because they're also traveling so there is not no really strong connections you know you might get attached to someone but then they have to leave next week and this can bring up a lot of emotions and uh, it can make you feel like shit or you'll be happy for a little bit but then all of a sudden the emotions drop because the person that you yeah the person that you like so much has to leave or uh, the lack of routine you know you're probably eating really shitty food you're probably not exercising when you're traveling and so this make, makes you physically weak it can make you fatigued and again this creates emotional instability and yeah the food the food that you eat you know your metabolism it, it gets used to certain foods so if you're living in one country it gets used to like the bacteria in the water you know and your metabolism reacts a certain way to that bacteria because it's adapted to it but if you go to a different country what happens is your metabolism is introduced to new things and so it kind of has to change a little bit and adapt and if you're going from place to place again that can create a lot of chaos in your body a lot of like mix up of emotions and that can make you really physically weak and yeah it can make you not feel so good uh, I'm sure that everyone has heard of stories of people going to like Thailand or, or India and then having diarrhea uh, after eating some food and that yeah that's just like normal you know for when you travel because your metabolism it's not used to the foods in the new country uh, so that's basically it for today's video those are the things that I wanted to share with you all right guys so thank you so much for watching this video uh, so these were five things to keep in mind before you actually start off and travel and um, yeah these are all based off of my experience uh, so maybe think about them before before you take like a long trip because you know these things actually do happen and if this video did help you in any sort of way you can comment um, on not the the video on youtube but if you go to my website on the post below because i don't want to i don't want people to engage engage on social media because when you engage on social media you just get a, get caught up in the machine and you get caught up in the algorithms and you waste a lot of time on social media so that's why i'm trying to bring people into my website because it's free from all of that and also if you want to keep um, keep yeah also if you want to keep up with my content you can subscribe to the newsletter and the newsletter is on my homepage, uh, and that just gives you like an email every time I post something uh, so yeah join the community and uh, and yeah again hopefully this helps so shimanko